Saturday at El Cajon Valley High School. Not exactly dancing the night away, but three and a half hours worth. It's not new, but the problem it was designed to reduce was getting worse. Nothing to do in El Cajon sent kids by the hundreds to Second Street for some heavy duty cruising. Many times things got out of hand. So two years ago, the El Cajon City Council asked the police in high schools to resume a long time tradition, dances with the cops as sponsors. The rules were clear, beginning with who was allowed. High school students, uh, no drinking, no drugs, can't smoke inside. Once they're here, they stay. If they leave, they can't come back in. Uh, we invite the parents to come take a look around. And uh, really, kids police themselves. We haven't had any problems with it at all. A lot of the clubs now, you have to be like 17 or 18 to get into. And this is an all age, basically, dance. And it's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of different people. And, Kids stay out of trouble probably a bit more because there's some place to go on Saturday nights. You need three dollars to get in, half goes to the band, the rest to pay the rent. I think that um, it's a good way to get people off the streets, you know, like Second Street, it really causes trouble. Police officers are here, but inside, cadets take care of supervision. What about the factor that the police are sponsoring it? Does that bother you? No, I don't even see them. I didn't even know that until last week. <laughs> They're not even around, they just come to a security unit. It's pretty neat. Good reviews from parents. Please supervise. You know, we know where she is. We take her and pick her up. Just love it. The dances are over at 12, and um, they can't, you know, go out and get themselves into trouble and, and hide and, you know, stuff like that. They really think it's great that I, that I want to come to something like this instead of on the streets. Turnouts can be as high as 1,300 kids. Not bad for a cop hop.